Hey y'all, this cosplay every time, like last week too, it makes me want to do my intro differently. <laughs> like not so peppy, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right, you guys, I've got um, some pomegranate herbal tea here. We've got our LaCroix, we've got our water. Um, we're gonna be doing some more hardcore wow today. Let me show you guys where we are at. Let me show you guys where we're at. Lunar, hello, how are you doing? How are you doing? How was it um, being affiliate again? Did it feel right? Did it feel right again, being affiliate again, as it should be? <laughs> All right, here we go. So, so I, uh, I, would like, I would like to show you something. If, uh, there we go. Okay. So my druid that I've been playing off stream, she did die, sadly. She did die. Um, I ran into that knoll castle in Silverpine, and then they murdered me because it was just me and one other person, and it wasn't enough, and we died. So... <laughs> <laughs> so that happened. Um, but I, 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 I go again. Here is Nyan Kitty, okay, daughter of Nya. Um, and yeah, so yeah, I've been playing on, on the Druid. I, I got up to 14 much faster than before. Um, so yeah, um, we go again. We go again. I thought I wouldn't want to, but I did. So I did. I'm doing well. Yes, I'm. I missed it. Got my emotes back. Fuck yeah. Oh yeah. I'm so glad for you. I'm so. And it really didn't take that long. It feels like you just started this like like a month ago or something. I think it was maybe a little longer than that. But I want to say like you restarted in August, like in August, right? And it's just barely September. Or did you restart in July? Because I feel like we were talking about it around my birthday, and my birthday is the end of July. But here's Karen Terry that we're playing here on the stream. Okay, she's still in Durotar. Um, I did do some things with her off stream, not quests or levels. Okay, not quests or levels, but let me show you what I did so that you guys can see. You guys can see. <clears throat> oh my gosh, why are you taking so long to log in? Oh good, that made it jump up. <laughs> um, July around the FNAF ruin release date. That's right, okay, so yeah, like a month, like not long. Honestly, like truly not long. Uh, my necrosis is still broken. I don't know what's up with that. Anyways, so here's what we did. You can see I have a gold now. I have a whole gold, okay? Um, and that is because I worked on my trade skills. So um, you can see here, let me drag this over. Oh, can I not drag this over? I guess I can't. Okay, anyways, um, my enchanting is 75 and my tailoring is 75. Since she's not level 10, I couldn't like, you know, do the next level to get it higher. So, so yeah, so I did all that. Um, so she's got her beautiful lesser magic wand now. I've also got some gifts in the mail from Nyan Kitty. So uh, let's open those. Um, there are some potions and some baggies and a shirt that I thought was probably better than what I had. Yeah, it totes is. Okay, so there we go. We got a little green with some shadow spell damage, which is gonna be beautiful, amazing, wonderful, love it. Okay, okay, uh, it's too many bags. I didn't need that bag. We can put it in the bank, I suppose. Um, this one also. Gonna get some noms. I hope it's pizza. <laughs> if it's not, tell me what it is. Um, but yeah, like you climbed up so, climbed back up so quickly. Like I was so happy to see it did not, it did not take long. Cause like, it's different now. Now that people are kind of like over the pandemic, it's different. Viewership on Twitch is different. So, you know, I mean, I thought it wouldn't take long, but like it took even shorter than what I originally thought. All right. So here we go. Oop, I didn't mean to, to clink that. I was just trying to move the cap out the way. Okay, so um, let's sell that shirt and uh, and get going. All right, sell you. And let's see, what were we doing? Oh yeah, and then we're gonna go towards Gnomish Tools. So yeah, we're gonna go this way. Over here, over here. I rearranged my UI just a little bit, something that I thought was a little bit better about like where the death log should go and all that sort of stuff. Um, couldn't figure out how to fix my necrosis. Necrosis works fine on my laptop. Don't know why it's not working here, but it won't load. And if I like slash necrosis, like it's like nothing happens. It, nothing happens, nothing pops up. So I don't know. If anybody knows how to fix that, let me know. Put it in the chat, put it in a YouTube comment because I would like to fix it and I don't know how. Um, okay, so we're going this way. Let's use those beautiful potions that we have. 
Okay, Troll's Blood, yes, hello. Some minor defense, we love it. Uh, lion Strength, absolutely. Okay, we need to summon our Impy, our Imp Baby as well. Excuse you. Um, excuse you. Why? Leave me alone. Leave me alone, not for you. Wait, why is... What is this? I don't know. Anyways. I also installed the, an add-on for swing timers. I just thought that would be helpful. Um, it was very helpful on my druid, but I don't... We'll see how helpful it is on the warlock. I'm unsure, but we'll see. Don't need this on my hotbar. Oh, you bitch. Spell isn't ready. Oh, I guess that's for the wand. That's specific for the wand. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, see, well, you can't see because I have the chat blocked. But in the chat, necrosis is there. So what the hecky heck? Slash necrosis to show the settings menu. Okay, slash necrosis. There it is. It, it Okay, I don't know. I guess I had to fight something to bring it back. Whatever. Um, crazy. Okay, let's fix it. Event shown, soul shards. Soul shards. Okay. Where is... Where's the timers? I don't see the timers. And see, like... Mm, oh, enable. And then lock, unlock. Yeah, I don't see them. Where are they? Yeah, it's still like something's still not right with it. Let's do the process recall. Haha! -ha! She's back! She's back! Guess who's back? Back again. Necrosis back. Guess I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that very soon. Okay. Oh, I don't have my underwater breathing spell yet. Oh. Essential. Essential, but we do not have it. Okay. We need more mucus, but we definitely need more... Let's see. You. You come here. Not in line of sight. But my imp's gonna pull him out. Okay. Let me remember, I've been playing my druid so much. Let me remember how to play my freaking warlock. Okay. Like, hello. <laughs> hello. Yes. Okay. He's dead. Like he should be. Um, but I need buffs on top. Okay. Or debuffs on top. Let's see. Uh, yeah, buffs on top. Come here, Maruka Clacker. I got you. Goodbye. You cannot resist me. You can try, but it's not going to happen. All right, um, pygmy surf crawler. Yes, I still do need some of you. Come here. Oh. Wand it up. These things have two eyes. I don't know how they drop zero eyes sometimes. Mystery. Like the Zevra hooves. Pew! Pew! I love wands. Eyeball. Okay, there's some gnomish tools. I see them down there. Let's go get it. I may not have my underwater breathing, but at least I'm an undead, so I can stay underwater for a long time. Un, do, is the third spawn here? She says a third spawn over here, I think. Toi? Ah, toi. And barely any breath lost. Ugh, oh, undead is awesome. All right. Thank you. 
Get dead. Can't wait till my corruption is insta cast. The fact that there's a cast timer on corruption should be illegal. Should never be like that. Level, Mr. Shell Hide. We're gonna get him anyways. Yes. Oh, but no eyeballs. So our first stop today is gonna be the Echo Isles. Some troll lands. If I were swimming over this way, we gotta kill these guys on the way to finish this quest. A week later, I feel like Hardcore Classic is still like super popping. There's still like so many people on here playing. Um, it's really easy to like group up and uh, get people to help you with things. So hopefully that will be the ex continue to be the experience. But the first week has been has been great. I do have a couple of complaints about how Hardcore is running um, that I wish that they would change. I think it's too hella layered. <laughs> I think there should be less layers because there are definitely times where like I know people are there and I don't see them. Like I know there's more people playing than what it seems like when I run around because like just watch the death log. Just watch the death log while I play. There's tons of people on, absolutely tons of people on, but you don't see a lot of them because of the layering. So I do wish there was a bit less layering. Just like, it's just, there's an unnecessary amount right now, in my opinion. Um, and I just don't understand like why, like are they trying to make it harder so that you don't see as many people? Is it literally like a zone load thing, like a performance thing? Like I don't, I don't really quite get it. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I do think there's too much layering. Okay, oh, we finished the Maruka eyes, but we still need more crawlers. Did not get lucky with the crawler drops um, over on this side. Let's get on, let's get on some crawlers. Who is that? I hear a cat scratching the carpet. Lady, do not scratch the carpet, please. Thank you. Silly cat. She ignored me all morning, and then all of a sudden, like five minutes before stream, she was like, give me attention, give me attention. And I was like, I would love to. <laughs> I would love to. Why didn't you ask for this? Like, you know, I've been up for hours, but she didn't ask. She didn't ask. She didn't want it. She was busy playing. She didn't want attentions, but then she did. Oh my God, drop your eyeballs. These ones do drop the eyeballs, right? Yes, they got a little loot loot icon. Yes, they do. Oh, mucus. <laughs> Maybe because I'm asking for the wrong thing. Drop your mucus. Eyeballs was the other guys. There we go. Okay, now we can proceed. We're gonna go down to Echo Isles there. Get some tigers and some, uh, and some eggies. Um, excuse you. No. Leave me alone. I'm not fighting you right now. 
There we go. Got off me. I got a cheeseburger or fries because it's Saturday. Oh my God, that sounds so good. I love French fries. Cheeseburgers are also good. You know, though, honestly, a lot of times I would get like a regular hamburger over a cheeseburger because I feel like so often you cannot like taste the cheese. Oof, I need to put some WD-40 on my mic, on my mic arm. My God, that sound is horrendous. There it is, Echo Isles, troll area, but not our friendly dark spirit trolls. There's, it's a different kinds of trolls that live here, so we have to kill them. Mmm, a level 29. It just says Eastern Kingdom, so no idea how he died, but that sucks. I had leftover um, couscous for breakfast this morning. It was delicious. Uh, we make it with uh, with bacon and uh, sautéed spinach in it. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh my god, it's so good. And like red pepper flakes and mm, 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 mm. you can put parmesan cheese in it too sometimes we do that but we didn't have any so we didn't do that but it was so good oh my god i think for dinner tonight we're having club sandwiches we got some pork belly and then levi's gonna smoke it up and i think we're gonna turn it into club sandwiches it's gonna be amazing I love pork belly, smoked pork belly, and then you fry it up and it's basically like, just like bacon. Only like way easier to make. If you've ever tried to make bacon, it's actually like quite a crazy process. I never had that before, couscous. Oh my God, it's so good, okay. So literally you get the box of couscous from the store and you cook it and you fry up your bacon and you saute your spinach and you put it all together with red pepper flakes and, um, and Parmesan cheese and oh my God, it's so good and so simple. Now I don't make it, y'all know I don't cook. <laughs> But that's basically what the boys do when they make it. It's delicious. Do you have a nest over there, Mr. Lasher? I don't see a nest. Most of the time they're guarding, like the, the little raptors are guarding a nest. So like that's where the eggies are. They're a nest here. And they like hide. The nests are like under the foliage. Haha, -ha, yes, there is one. Come here. Yeah, couscous is so good. And like, it looks to me, I don't know, I've never made it. It looks to me very easy to make. So like, yeah. Did you hear about the Taylor Swift era's movie? <gasps> They're releasing a movie, like of her tour. I feel like you were talking about that yesterday, but I didn't really register what it was. It's literally like, like a concert movie, like a movie version of the concert with like backstage stuff. Like, what is it? I feel like bands used to do that so much back in the day, and it's been forever since I've heard of one of those coming out, like a concert movie. Oh, more eggs. Almost missed them. Bright purple. It's in theaters? What? Really? Man. Y'all Swifties have everything. I swear. I swear. Y'all Swifties get everything all the time. <laughs> not like, an, and not like a jealousy thing, but just like a, you know, who else? Like, who else is like Taylor Swift right now? Like, nobody. Like, Beyonce used to be, but I feel like, you know, since her her Super Bowl performance or whatever it was with the risers and stuff, like, I haven't really, like, heard anything since then. Now, I'm sure if she dropped something, it would be, like, a freaking bomb. But, like, she kind of disappeared during the pandemic, I feel like. Like, and who else, who else is big? Like, what other singers are big? I don't know. Like, it's all about K-pop now. I don't really think there's a lot of like, like American, like star singers at the moment. I feel like every, all the bandoms are like K-pop bandoms, you know, I'm so excited, of course. And you're going to go see it, right? Like you're going to go into the theaters to see it. Okay. These two decimated the tiger population on this little island. So we're going to go to the main island because in addition to tigers, we need to get trolls. I know, like, we're supposed to get do tigers on that littler island, but, like, these guys killed them all, so we're gonna go to the main island, because there's tigers there, too. I'm so excited. Yeah. 
You'll have to tell me if it's good. Like, if they release it on streaming, I might actually watch that, you know? Because, like, between you and Landon and Bree and, like, I feel like, like I'm a, um, <laughs> like I'm a Taylor Swift, like, fan-in-law <laughs> from all of you guys. So, like, if they release it on streaming, I would watch it, you know? Oh my gosh, tiger population decimated here. Oh no! Who is this? Na Nax Nar Narux. Poor Narux. I'm sure you, you lived a, a valiant, heroic life. And did not deserve death. Or maybe you did, who knows? People do some stupid shit and then they die. Like me, going into a castle full of gnolls. Why did I do that? That was so dumb. I was sleepy. That, that was what happened. And so I told myself I will not be playing sleepy anymore. So I have like a backup game for when I want a game, but I'm sleepy. Um, I got the Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster. So I'm playing through like the early Final Fantasies. So that's what I'm doing if I want a game when I'm sleepy. Um, not playing this. <laughs> not playing this. Because uh, that's just craziness. Okay, I don't need a raptor. Come on, I need a tiger. Come here, kitties. Come here, kitty, kitty, kitty. I already have my tickets with my best friend. Oh my god, that's so awesome. What a good friend date. <gasps> yes. Oh my god, you're gonna have so much fun. Now the next um the next movie I want to see in the theaters, um, I might and I probably end up going by myself just because because it's for content. Um, is the uh is the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. I do want to see that, and I don't want to wait for it to be out on streaming, so I'll probably go to the theaters for that. But we shall see. It really depends. But that's what I'm thinking. Because I want to talk about it, and I don't want to wait for, you know, it to be on streaming to talk about it. So if Landon's down with that, that's probably what I'm going to do. But she'd have to go too, separately, of course, in Maine. The new Exorcist movie is coming out the same day and they bumped up the Exorcist movie release date by a week. They knew. They knew. They knew there's no reason to compete with Swifties. Like, that's just dumb. Don't do that. Hello, fellow warlock. All right, let's kill some trolls. Let's kill some trolls while we're waiting for more tiger spawns. I feel like, like people are like just taken off the ti off of the tiger spawns. Come here, Miss Hex Troll. I only want to kill you a little bit. It'll be chill. Don't worry. See? It's chill. Everything's fine. You loved that. It was so fun, right? Shadow Bolt. Eat it. Yum yum. I'm sure I'll watch the new Exorcist movie too, but probably not in theaters. Probably when it like comes out on streaming. Did I do Crusoe back in here or did you resist it? group up with them, I think. Let's see if they'll group up with me. We can share tags. Oh, they invite me. Oh, but not quick enough. I didn't get Zalazane. Boo. Okay, that's fine. Oh, they Spanish. They got Spanish questy. Gracias. Oh, disbanded. Oh, they were just trying to help me with Zalazane. Oh, that was nice. That was nice of them. But I guess they're done here. That's okay. Zalazane instant pops again. Level 9? I'm level 9. Oh, Zalazane's 10. Okay, well, anyway, let's clear out this camp. Come here, Mr. Troll. What's up? Do you want to be friends? I'd like to be friends. 
You are my voodoo troll, my voodoo troll. Oh, they're back! Oh, they're gonna help me. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Double warlocks. Same, honestly, but have to see Taylor Swift. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I understand. For you, that is a requirement. You can't not. Like, if that's out, that's what you gotta go see. Oh, shit. Did I body pull? I body pulled. And I'm oom. Um. Good thing I have a friend. You got a friend in me. Oh, heels? Why? I help you. Let's let her get her imp back before we pull. There we go. Come on, Salazane. Why you heal yourself? Like, you're gonna survive this. Yeah, right. There we go. Got your head. I got your head. It's right here. And those instant pops, that's another thing I'm like not so jazzed with about hardcore. They totally changed like the um, the way that named mobs respawn so that you wouldn't kind of end up sitting in a line waiting for a named mob. They have them instantly respawn. But that means like after you kill them, you got to like you got to vacate. You got to vacate or you're going to have to fight them twice, which sometimes is very problematic and difficult. So like, I, I mean, I just think maybe like they can respawn faster than on like the classic era servers but i don't think they should respawn like um so much faster oh my god okay fine you can have the tiger you did come help me even though i really wanted that tiger but whatever let's see if this this other tiger is up there's another tiger okay oh you Excuse you. That's what you get, sir. That's what you get. Don't mess with me. Okay, here's a couple tigers. Let's try to get them. Goodbye. Oh, no pelt. Where's the other one? There was another tiger here a second ago. Did someone get him? Someone must have pulled him. He was there. Sorry, there's a really loud noise outside. <clears throat> Sounds like they're doing, um, like the boxes and yard trash garbage. Because of the storm this week, um, the garbage schedule got all off and out of whack and like different times or whatever. We're fine, by the way. We, the The hurricane did not like really get here. By the time it was here, it was like a tropical storm. So everything was cool. My gosh, I keep forgetting how low level I am. My aggro radius is so big right now. Just a level or buh. My gosh, drop your pelts. I can see that you have skin. Why are you not dropping the pelt? I'm glad you're safe, thank you. Yeah, the only thing really super interesting for us that happened in regards to the storm was we discovered that our patio cover has a peak. <laughs> um, and then our grass was really green, so we had to mow the lawn uh, the next day, you know, after the storm was done. Um, but that's it, like, it was really nothing here. It was just rain. And uh, where we live specifically anyway, there wasn't flooding. There was like downtown, of course, but like there's flooding downtown like constantly. Like it just has to rain a little bit and downtown floods, so. I'm out of range. 
that's not really like anything to speak about. So they don't take no hurricane for that. But we did do some hurricane prep, like we bought some extra um, kitty cat carriers because we have four cats, but we only had two carriers. So we got two more carriers, um, you know, so we did do a few things just in case. So we'll be ready for the next time if we do get one this year that's actually bad. So we'll see. So we're like, we're ready if it happens. Hopefully it won't even happen, though. We won't have to worry about it. Yeah, Lunar, I, I don't know what part of, um, because I know vaguely where you live, but not really. Are you near the coast where you guys get hurricanes or no? You're, are you more inland? No more inland. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought, but I couldn't quite remember the specifics. There's a pelt freaking Christ. Okay, need three more of those. Yeah, you'll probably have some other kind of natural disaster that you deal with, though, even though it's not hurricanes, right? <laughs> like, y'all probably got, like, extreme heat or something. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. I just want to give you a warm hug with my emulate. Girl, you have no idea the hottest it's gotten is 100 and, oh, 113. Holy shit. I mean, it gets hot here, but it's like different kind. And I think it doesn't get quite as hot, but we have the humidity. So like a lot of times the actual temperature will be like in the 90s, but then the heat index will be like 100 something like what you're talking about. Um, have you heard of those like wet bulb things where like because of the extreme humidity, it doesn't even have to be that hot. For you to like have issues because like you won't be able to sweat enough because of the humidity like that's um that's a situation around here humidity sucks yeah for real my god i help i help i help you are my voodoo troll my voodoo troll Bam, 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 nah, nah. Okay, whatever. You can have it. You did mark him. You did mark him up. Maybe this is why they layer. Because <laughs> it is kind of difficult a little bit to get the mobs um, sometimes. Where are you, imp? Okay, come here. What is your name again? Belcole. Get your ass over here, Belcole. We got trolls to kill. Get dead. Don't heal. That is illegal. Only I can do that. This is actually quite a lot of people on right now. Maybe it's like just because it's the weekend. It's the weekend, so there's a lot of people on. So maybe the layering is beneficial on the weekends. <laughs> I don't know. I just know I've been in areas where it's like there is nobody and I feel like there should be people, but because of the layers, I don't see anybody like in the barrens. I feel like in particular, because that zone is so big that like there should be more people per layer or something, you know, or less layers. Did this stream crash or was it just me? I think, I don't, I don't see any evidence of crash in my little stats thing. I think it's you, my friend. 
Yeah, I don't even have any frames skipped right now. I'm just watching it. Yeah, I don't see anything. I don't know, or it could be Twitch. Like, it could be just Twitch acting up. It loves to do that, you know. It loves to act up. Yeah, maybe it's a Twitch glitch, yeah. A Twitch glitch. It says you've been live for two. I've been live for two minutes. What? That's so weird. I hope my recording isn't jacked up. My stats don't say anything about that. Yeah, my stats look normal. But maybe Twitch did glitch out? I don't know. Yeah, if it says I've been live for two minutes, then I bet Twitch did it. Yeah. How long was I down? another extra bag <laughs> bag drops are nice but i just sent my girl some bags so i don't need the need the, i don't need these only a minute i just had to close and reopen twitch oh okay weird Take that, Trollio. Alright, that's enough text trolls. We need two more voodoo trolls, but we still need two tiger furs. Somebody call the tiger king. I need some furs. I feel like this happened on another character I was leveling where like I, I had like tiger furs left as the last thing on this island before I could leave. Ah, uh, here we go. Got some furs now. I right, just need one more. Drop quick, friend. Drop quick. I just realized something. I don't think... Oh yeah, I have it turned off. Definitely want that on. Because we're going to need that. We're going to need that at some point. We're going to need to find groups. Oh, level 27. Oh, sharp talon. That sucks. I wonder if Sharp Talon just like happened upon them or they actually tried to kill Sharp Talon because they're level 27. <gasps> I can see again, Eminem. I can. Yes. Um, it's actually the it's really small now. I do. I did put it's still there a little bit and it's too dark to cover. But I've got but I covered it with a band aid because it's really tiny. Um, like the bruise is super small now. Yeah, it was funny because of the storm. I didn't have to uh, actually go into work on my, my in-office days like normal. So I was like, yes, 
<laughs> so I didn't have to like wear the full eye patch or anything all day or whatever because like, you know, I can just be selective about like who I call <laughs> and get on camera with. So that was really nice. So it was kind of like, you know, good for that <laughs> in the way. Good for good for me in a way. <laughs> Even though there was the storm, you know, which was not good for most people, but that was a little bit of a benefit because of this. Didn't have to be seen. How are you doing today, Eminem? How's your weekend? Oh, gosh. I need more tigers. I need more tigers. Where are they? You okay? Well, that's better than bad. I'm glad for that. I'm glad it's not bad. Hopefully it can be just a little bit better chilling and relaxing with us today. A little bit better than okay. Oh, nope, I don't need you. Stupid thing just coming out the water to get me, isn't it? Yes, I can hear it. Yeah, it was a waste of your time, little clacker. What kind of trolls I still need? I need, still need voodoo trolls. I guess let's try to find a couple of voodoo trolls. Since I can't find no tigers. Come here, voodoo troll. Okay, I was complaining about the layers. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning I don't see people, and now I'm like, my god, just layer me by myself. So I can get the tags. Level- how does a level one die? They died- did, was it a bank all running to Orgrimmar? Mot molted boar. You died by a boar. I don't understand. Is warrior that, like, unlucky or difficult? Oh, there's a voodoo troll. Can I pull you safely? I think so. Let's try it. Run away, run away! Ah, uh, I pulled two! Dang it. Okay, but let's get him. We can do this. We got this. We're powerful. Oh, I pulled Zalazane. Oh, run, run, run. I am not so strong. Not taking that risk. That's just dumb. Okay, I thought I was a baller, shot caller, but um, I'm not. I'm a wuss. All right, come back, Belcole. Oh, there's a voodoo troll right there for me. Thank you. How are you doing today, ma'am? Oh, you're doing dead. That's how you're doing. Okay, let's get this hex troll. Clear him out the way so I can get the voodoo troll. Ooh. Yes. Protect me. Okay, let's wait for Zalazane to pass, instead of being silly. Alright, come here! <gasps> Hello Karen, how's it going? Are you having a good weekend? We're doing good so far, just killing some trolls. Um, because they're the bad kinds of trolls and don't deserve to live. They're not our friendly trolls that we love. Alright, so we just need one more tiger fur. Then we can get off this smelly jungle island. Alright, I'm gonna go to one of the smaller islands, I think? Honestly, I feel hungover without the alcohol. What? 
I think it's the acupressure treatment doing this thing. How are you? What is acupressure? Is it like acupuncture without needles? That's what it sounds like. I'm good. Um, we were spared. We were spared from the storm. Nothing crazy happened here from that. So um, I had a pretty good week. You know, that was the exciting thing and then nothing bad happened. So that's awesome. I like when exciting things happen, but nothing bad. It's exactly that. I had little magnets on four acupoints on my ears and gently apply pressure. Oh, so is that like, is that like a, a doctor thing or is that a chiropractor thing? Like who does that? I'm not familiar with it. I literally just guessed based on the name. Like I have no idea. <gasps> Yay. Level up, level up, level up. We got level 10. Okay. Uh, now we need to go back to Senjin. Okay, north. Yeah, Karen is no longer punished. <laughs> That's right, Blue. That's right. It's really small. The bruise is really small right here now, so um, it's good. I can get away with just a little Band-Aid. The acupressure you can do yourself if you have the proper book guide and stuff, but mine was done by someone trained in it. Oh. Well, I mean, regardless, despite the hangover feeling you have right now do you think it's working do you think it's good i hope you're having a good weekend by the way blue tell me how you're doing I'm going to keyboard turn so that y'all don't have to look at the water. You look at the, the nice scenery instead. <laughs> Hangover without alcohol. How does that work? I would think maybe it's like, um, like in my imagination, when, when Karen says that, I'm thinking like, um, you know, like maybe a little bit of a headache, maybe like groggy feeling, like feeling like you need some extra coffee that morning, you know? <laughs> Officially start a proper job hunt today. Oh, Oh, well, good luck. Um, what kind of job are you going for? Like, what are you looking for? Ooh, 29 death. Undead priests in Eastern Kingdoms. Don't know where they die, but that sucks. Honestly, I won't know for sure until Monday. Oh, when the treatments run its course. I gotcha. It's meant to be treating my stomach issues, back issues, and headaches. And well, so far, they feel worse. But you know the saying, gets worse before it gets better. Yeah. I mean, if you've not finished the full treatment yet, I guess you can't really know. Um... But by mon but hopefully by Monday, it's starting to feel better instead of like still feeling worse at the moment. Gonna really posh up the resume and update the Indeed portfolio. You should get a LinkedIn, uh, get a LinkedIn as well. Um, I find LinkedIn like really super helpful for that kind of stuff. And what's happening, I'll maybe attempt to score some kind of side gig. Yeah, side gig's good. Hangovers are only caused because the alcohol stops you from going into the REM stage of sleep, which is why insomniacs can also feel hungover after a few days, yes. Yeah, yeah, because you don't use you, your sleep cycles are completely different when you're um, under the influence of alcohol in particular. Like it just doesn't it doesn't let you do a normal sleep cycle. I'll work on that, too, then. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, I've never had an Indeed profile, um, so I don't know if like Indeed is better or whatever, but I, I know that LinkedIn is helpful. And I found having a profile on there and saying that you're open to work um and you get recruiter messages like even though i have a good job that i'm happy with and i'm not actually looking um i will still like s like say that i'm open like so that i appear in those searches because i like to know what's available like what's in the market to make sure like i am getting treated fair at my job you know so i still get the messages and kind of see um so so yeah so i keep mine on like that even though i'm not really looking <laughs> But they don't know that. Um, so I still can kind of know what's going on out there. And I find it very, very helpful. And I found it helpful also when I've been actually looking, which is good, I think. All right. All that shit gets vendored. Oh, this too. Okay. 
So n- now is the best time. Oh, I just got, I finally got my graduation certificate last week. Oh, and so now's the best time to job hunt. Hell yeah. Even if I technically finished my college run in two months ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but some, but you know, if you can afford to take a break, it's good. It's good to do that. You know, you can't always, um, not every, you know, not everyone can afford that. So I think like if you can, it's really nice to do that. Um, let's put the trade skills down here. And this up here. Okay. The UK version of Indeed is stupid. It matches you up with vacancies that have nothing to do with what's on your profile. Like the website matches you up? That's weird. Um, I've never heard of that. That's definitely not how it works on like um, LinkedIn and uh, and Indeed and stuff here. Even if I technically, oh, though I already read that message. Yes, um, you know, <laughs> it's so weird. It's so weird to me because like I started job hunting a year before I graduated, but also it was 2008 and we were in the middle of a um, financial crisis. So totally different situation. Um, I would have loved to like, actually start job hunting much later on instead of starting it so early but like it's what i had to do because of the situation but yeah if you can take a break in between like it's good to do that yeah r sends you ideal vacancies you could apply for and it's daft that someone fully trained in admin and looking for office work gets a warehouse or engineering job pops up what that's really strange because like linkedin has a similar thing like i can say you know send me emails um based on these searches and i have like keywords that i know that recruiters for my type of job would put in and so it emails me based on those keywords and so like if there's anything in there that's not relevant then it's because the actual like recruiter when they posted they put bullshit in there not because like the search is wrong like the search is right it sends me what pops up in that search which is exactly what i want to see and know granted i've basically been on a two-month break like summer vacation yes <laughs> it's good to have one though like it's good for your brain and for your health to have those breaks if you can afford to have them you know so like it's good to take them but now i'm ready to toss myself into the world well you're gonna be awesome blue what, wherever you land you're gonna be amazing at it i know you are and uh, you're gonna do so well and yeah this is my advice i'll give my advice for people working this is like my my karen um office work advice okay Whatever it is, like, especially if you're a salaried employee, whatever the hours are that you're supposed to be working, do not ever, ever, ever work extra hours. That's not what they're paying you for. And a lot of offices will pressure you. And I don't think it's bad to do it every once in a while. Like if it's really needed for the job, like in my position, it's like, I'm the only one that does certain things. So that means that sometimes I might have to work an extra 30 minutes or an hour, you know, every, every so often, like it maybe happens four or five times a year, right? But as soon as jobs know that you are willing to do that, they will start expecting you to do that. And they will like put it on you and they'll put more work on you than can possibly be completed within the the amount of time within the, uh, yeah, within the um, 40 hours or whatever it is you're supposed to be working. And, uh, and they'll just expect it. So like, if you have been given more work than you can possibly do, you've you have to tell them and you you never like take it on and um and then like once people understand like you are unwilling to work extra hours then they will do a little bit they won't like expect it of you and then if you do it every once in a while it's no big deal um but yeah that is big advice from me never work extra hours because for a lot of bosses once they find out you're willing they will like expect it and then they'll act like you're underperforming because you're working your normal hours, which is just not how it should work. So work the amount that you're getting paid for. Do not let them squeeze more out of you. They're already paying you less than you're worth because that's, you know, how the business makes money. That's like, that's how they do it. Um, otherwise there would be no such thing as profits. So like, don't let them make more than what they've already agreed to make off of you. Expected. Yeah, it's how it's true. 
Instead of using the real dirty word, what's the real dirty word? Exploited? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's exploited. It's exploitative. But they don't know they're doing it. You know, they're trapped in the same system as us, you know, reacting this and all that stuff. Don't make the mistakes of being a yes man because, like, they take advantage of that and ask for more and more. Exactly. Exactly. You guys get it. You know, you guys know exactly what I'm saying. It's exactly what I'm saying. It's the same with my job. I skip my lunch breaks when I have to to stay late, like, 10 hours, and they don't offer me a lunch break. They just assume yes. And as soon as they realize you're willing to do that, like, they will keep expecting it of you. So, like, you just can't. You just can't let them do that. Man, they decimated this camp. I, we gotta wait for respawns. We gotta wait for respawns because we need to kill the boars in this camp. So we have to wait. <clears throat> we have to wait for some respawns. Oh, we're level ten. I should do my talent, even though I don't have my demon yet. Okay. Um, what does the guide think I should do? I'm really curious. Oh, it thinks. Oh. It thinks I should do improved corruption first. Of course I should do improved corruption first. I want instant corruption. Okay, then it thinks I should do this improved life tap. Okay, that makes sense. I think I want to go demo though. Okay, so I think I want to do, I think I want to do improved corruption. And then I think I'm, I want to go demo after that, like with demonic embrace. What? Oh my gosh, congrats. This um, person, the reason why that happened um, just now is because Spa TV um, just reached level 60. Congrats, OTV. Okay, oh, my channels are messed up. General trade, yeah, you need to be four. Okay, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. That'll be me someday. I'm gonna reach 60 someday. I believe in me. Hopefully, maybe. <laughs> I've only died once on my druid, and I've died zero times on my warlock with you guys, because you're there for them. And I work with infants, 10 of them, please give me a break. Fuck, of course. And, but see, it's jobs like that where they can take the most advantage of you, because it's like, but the kids, and like, you don't disagree. Like, you, you don't disagree with that. Like, yeah, the kids do need you, but still. Like, but still, you need you. And you can't be your best for the kids if you're not taking care of yourself as well. I also worked in an office setting for long enough to know that they kept upping my targets and stuff um, until it got to the point where I have to stay clocked in four hours longer than I was being paid for just to meet those targets. And when I told them why, um, they yelled at me for staying clocked in for so long. Yeah. Did they lessen the targets? No. They told me I needed to focus more. Hello, ADHD. Yeah. Hit him with I was a kid once. <laughs> wow, Blue, that's savage. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, for real. Like, I mean, I do think that, like, as you get more experienced in a job, your um, targets or goals or whatever they are should grow. Like, you shouldn't be stagnating yourself because then that's boring. You know what I mean? But there is a such thing as, like, too much of that. Come on. Come back. Come back. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. All right, camp's respawning now. Good, good, good. Because we're going to kill these boars. Bye, boar. I'm going to have to get my Voidwalker, but I feel like it's probably a bad idea to go get him right now at 10 because he's going to smack me around and kill me. So, maybe get 11 or 12 before I go get him. Oof, he's kind of close. I get too ballsy. I need to wait for the the camp to all respawn. Basically, the process was getting more complex. The cases um, more complex, and they were expecting us to do triple the amount of cases than when I started. So yeah, I got three times harder, and they were treating it like it was three times easier. Yeah, because they're dumb. I mean, I've experienced that within like call center, like tech support call centers too. A lot of times, management is just like so out of touch with reality that they don't understand, like, what's happening. And, like, what's actually possible for most people to do. Scout, scout. I need a regular quill bore. Here's a regular quill bore. Never work in complaints resolutions in a bank. Oh, 
Oh god, that sounds like the worst kind of call center job. Yikes. Yeah, I totally get why it was soul crushing then. Um, especially with, uh, you know, triple expectations from when you started. Insane. All right. That's all that's, that's all we need in that camp. So we're gonna go over to the other camp now, I think, right? Oh no, it says train your class spells. Oh, okay. I guess we'll follow the guide and train our class spells. We are level 10, so we do need to go do that. Yeah, I've never done a call center like that. Like call centers that I've worked in, because that's kind of what I did when I first started working. It's not really what I do now. But when I first started working, I did like a um, call center for like, I was uh, collecting donations, right? It was for a nonprofit. And then I worked in like a tech support call center. So two very different kind of call center work, but um, both pretty like pretty easy in the grand scheme of things, like definitely easier than like what you're talking about um, with, with that type of call center. <laughs> <sighs> Complaints resolution for a bank. Yeah, people's money is like, oof, 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 oof. Uh, yeah, I'm sure that will get really crazy really fast. All right, Warlock Trainer is back here, behind. All those payment protection insurance missiles need to be corrected for and for the bank i worked for it was temps like me that got them through thousands if not millions of those complaints in three years and then at the end they just waved goodbye two months before christmas during covid lockdown holy fuck that's evil okay like that's like that's like actually evil okay drain soul we need that yes health stone demon skin immolate okay um let's see Okay, we have a Drain Soul macro. Can go there. Um, do we have a Health Stone macro? Oh, but the Health Stone's gonna change, so I should just do that. Demon Skin. Rank two. Okay, I've already got that macroed, right? Oh no, I didn't make a Demon Skin macro. Okay, well, let's get in our spell book. Mm -mm -mm. Rank two. Uh, health stone. Yes. You can go there. So basically don't work for a bank. Gotcha. That's what I'm taking away too, Blue. Do not work for a bank. Okay. I know why I didn't, I didn't macro demon skin. There's no point because it's going to change. Uh, the name of it's going to change. It doesn't just rank up. Oh, I need the fireball grimoire. Let's go back. Super stressful, especially because my cats ended up very sick that month too. Only thanks to friends gifting money that he's alive. Oh my god. Greetings. I don't know if it's like this in the UK, but like in the US. Oh, wait, we already know that. Why is it telling us to do it? Whatever. Yeah, we've done that. Okay, accept conscripts of the horde. Farewell. Is that you? Not no, but I need to accept strength. this too, anyways. Um. I don't know if it's like this in the UK, but in the US, because like the health insurance system is so like jacked and weird, a lot of um, vets also have like pet insurance now. And so veterinary care is getting incredibly expensive um, for all the same reasons that like human health care <laughs> is very expensive because it's all controlled by these pet insurance companies now. And it's just absolutely bonkers, you know? Um, so that's happening here and it's just very ridiculous. Okay, was that it? Conscript of the Horde? Yes. Okay, so now I'm supposed to go get the other camp of Razor Main Cool Boars. Okay. However, I have to pee. So I'm actually, I'm just gonna, we're gonna hang out, we're gonna hang out by the smoked meat and um, smell the delicious smells. I'll be right back, like two minutes, don't go anywhere. Jane! Oh my gosh! Jane, don't go anywhere, I have to pee. I'll be right back, okay?
Okay, we're back. Hi, I'm new to the stream, Jane. <laughs> Jane, Jane. <laughs> this woman is on the clock with the Wiz record setting. Oh my god. <laughs> Do your Kegels, kids. Do your Kegels, kids, and then you can pee fast like me. Okay, Jane, how are you doing, by the way? Okay, wait, I have two questions. First is, how are you doing? Of course, tell me how, how you've been. Second... Um, it, I just want to confirm before I do the pitch for this. It's you, Noms, and Kendra running the new role play. Yes, is that true? Is you are you three the main mod team? Have I got that right? Um, there's pet insurance here too, but the one Oda is registered with is lowering the price. However, is going to cost six hundred pounds just for an X-ray because they wanted to put him under for it. Turns out they didn't need to. He was so sick he didn't flinch. Oh, okay, like four hundred of that price was anesthesia alone. Yeah, anesthesia is very fucking expensive. Anesthesia is very fucking expensive for humans and for for animals. It's insane. Here too, that the price of that is ridiculous. Um, yes. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. So you guys. I have to tell you, and Jane, please post a link while I'm talking about this. So Kendra and Noms and Jane um, made a new role play. Okay, they made a new role play. It's, this is why I have to tell you guys, because y'all want to check it out. Y'all definitely want to check it out. It's Wild West. It's Wild West and it is Vampires and Werewolves. It is so cool. And the powers that they, the powers that they did for like how the Vampires and Werewolves are set up, um, is amazing. And you can play a human and y'all, the humans are even cool too. Okay. The humans even get like certain powers. Like you've got to go check it out. Yes. There we go. Jane, um, Jane has the link. You have to go look. Okay. You have to go look. It's so cool. I, I knew that they were planning like a Western thing because Kendra had kind of like told me a little bit because she was very excited about that part, but like it didn't click for me like what it really was until I saw Kendra post the ad for it in the cafe. And I was like, oh my God, this looks amazing. And it absolutely fucking is. You have me at werewolves, yes. And their werewolves are so cool the way they're doing them. Like I freaking love it. Okay, uh, this is another like decimated camp. Okay, maybe the layers are a good thing. <laughs> maybe I was being a little bitch about the layers and this is like good actually. Like my God, there's so many people. Kegels for men? Yeah. What? Oh, wait, why is it sad? Why is Kegels for men sad? Men can do them, right? It's They still have that muscle, <laughs> right? Like, am I am I wrong in that? Much as I love vampires, well, two vampire all the way, so they don't have time for role-playing anymore. I hear you. Yeah, I'm just playing one character because I don't have a lot of time either. Um, but I was just too enthralled, and I thought for sure I was gonna play, like, a werewolf, but then, like, I read the vampire lore and a lot of the existing vampire characters, and I kind of fell in love with the Blackwoods, and so that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm very excited. Less benefits for us? Well, you can, you can pee fast. What? I don't know what other benefits you're talking about, Blue. The benefit is that you can pee fast. Duh. I don't, like, what? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> okay let's go eat pee healthy is worth it enthralled pun yes <laughs> okay i feel like i missed some messages i'm fine ish yeah the three of us being cowboys yes fine ish well hopefully hanging out with us can go from fine ish to actually fine i feel like a lot of people are fine ish today just doing like okay like not bad not good like something's in the air with that today. Peeing fast is beneficial, not just for being healthy, but in like not spending a lot of time peeing because that's annoying. Having to get up to pee is so annoying, okay? If you can make it quicker, that's even better, you know? I'm out of range. That's my view. All my writing creativity has to go into books, yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. Sometimes you just have to do that. There's only there's only so many hours of the day and we all still have to sleep and eat at some point. Okay, we just need dust runners now. So we need these ones in the dresses. Uh, resist, excuse you. That's not fair. We don't do that around here. Kill your ass. Don't you heal. God, can't believe this guy. Okay, I know there's more dust runner spawns over here. Because I've seen them before. Hopefully they'll pop up. 
someone killed them all. Okay. When I'm not struggling with my health, I may not need as much sleep, but I do have to hunt down a meal. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean, friend. All, being, um, having a, an, aw, poor Safira. Safira's who helped us. <gasps> Safira's the person who helped us with the tiger and the, with the, the troll, the bit, the troll boss. Oh no, Safira. <laughs> Safira. How do you say, how do you say, um, how do you say like a grieving phrase in fan Spanish? Like, sorry for your loss. How do you say that in Spanish? Oh, it's time to buff up again. Because Safira spoke Spanish. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have the protection scroll, so I don't need that yet. Okay, there's a dust runner, but you're like up in the camp. I don't want one up in the camp. I want one on the outskirts. Come on. I guess I'll kill you to try to get to the dust runner. Want the boars in the pretty dresses. Oh my gosh, where are you? Why is it only the melee one spawning? Oh, it's corruption. You resisted. Rude. I guess I should drain and start getting shards because I'm going to need those. Is there another spot where these... They're over in that corner. I guess I could go look over there. Are any of these... The dust stormers? No. They're not. Okay, let's go look over in these. this bramble patch. Ah, oh, wait, there's one. Hello. Hello, dust stormer. I would like to say hello. Look at it trying to run. There's no escaping death, true. I don't know why they even try. Like, it's so dumb. Obviously, I'm the player character. I'm going to win. Duh. Aw. There you go. I hope you killed the rare. I hope you got a good drop off of it. What's up, Bell Cole? You're back. He was busy helping with that rare. The Stormer. Where are you right now? Hmm. Someone destroyed these ones in the back, too. Oh, there's another one. I see it. I see it. Oh, there's a guy chasing me. I'm in combat. How did that happen? Get away. I ain't even fucking with you. I'm trying to spare your life. Thank you. I want your friend right here. Back it up. Back it up. Karen, the horns are fabulous, and I had to spin the points to make sure everyone knows I know. <laughs> Jane, I love how much you use the text-to-speech every time you come hang out. It's, like, literally the best thing ever. Hearing that voice in my ear, like, in my, in my mind, that is Jane's voice. Like, that's what you sound like. <laughs> I know that's not true, but that's, like, in my mind, what how it is. It's underutilized. Yes, more people should should um should do the text to speech. Is it too expensive, or do people just not care about it? If it's too expensive, I can lower the price. If y'all are like, oh, I would do it more if it wasn't five hundred, I can fix that. Oh, another level sixty. 
Man, people's getting level 60s today. Congrats, Suri. Congrats. Good job. I forget redeems exist. <laughs> You're just so busy chilling. You're just so busy chilling that you just forget redeems are a thing. I've known people that are have a cost like one point. Yeah. Well, the only reason that I don't have a lot of things that cost like only one point or something is just because like every once in a while I do have some like nonsense people come in the stream and like wreak havoc. It doesn't happen very often, but it's happened more than once. And so I just don't want things to be like worth nothing. Um, but like, you know, I don't want them to be so expensive that y'all don't want to use them. All right, now we're gonna do stolen sacks. I like the grind. Oh, that's okay. I mean, I do think that's fun. That's part of the fun. It's like, oh, I have enough points for this. Like, I feel, I know it's like silly because like I'm hanging out in streams with people that I consider like, you know, kind of friendly towards me. Cause like, I don't really watch a lot of large streamers. Um, so yeah, it does. It feels like the a fun little game with my friends. So I know what you mean. Oh man, I thought I could cut between these two losers. Run away! We're gonna go. We're gonna go from the back for the su supplies. Supplies. Get off of me, quillbores! It's time to fight harpies. All right, let's kill some harpies and get their supplies. They don't need them. They don't even have hands. Wait, do they? Is it just wings? Do you have hands, Miss Harpy? You kind of do, actually. You kind of do. Oh yeah, one of my friends got transphobes coming in to sit and wait until their burner accounts got 200 points and just spam so their names wouldn't would show. I report. Yep. 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 Exactly. Exactly. Like just like just hateful people, you know. Go you the time that took. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There should be sacks of supplies around here if people didn't already loot them. Hopefully we can find some. I don't tolerate hateful conducts. So I went on a recording crusade, yeah. It's just nonsense, you know, it's just nonsense. Um, ex hello? I just killed you, you can't respawn that fast? What's wrong with you? Kill you again. My god, the first one I killed respawned. I'm at oom. wander wander up i had to ban them in my chat and they report them all it was kind of cathartic oh my god that does sound really cathartic i don't know why i don't know why either i don't know why either like it really baffles me a lot of times like the things that they choose to like go on about and it's like who has the energy <laughs> you know who has the energy like it's crazy to me do i already have strength okay i don't have a spirit Let's get the spirit scroll. Ah, there's a sack. Internet, they don't have feel the weight of their consequences on the internet, yeah. Hey, Devon, how's it going? Are you having a good Saturday? No microphone issues this stream, thanks to you. They're my favorite kind. I love banning people from my streamers, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think like people that do that kind of stuff, they just have like, you know, they have like a really shitty home life or something. And so like they're, you know, getting some something out of that kind of insane, like hatefulness from that. There's a lot more to do with like their situation than like anything that the person they're targeting is doing. Because it's really about like them having a shitty life. It's called, I, I, I don't know if y'all have, have heard this before. Um, I don't know if I've ever said it on stream, but like sometimes, sometimes people, when it's ta when you're talking about like what's wrong with them, what their diagnosis is just SLS, which is called shitty life syndrome. 
So they're just, they're how they are because their life is crap and they're reacting to that. It's quite good. Just enjoy my first homemade meal and my first, oh my gosh, congratulations, Devon. Congratulations on your first apartment, on your first homemade meal in your, in your first apartment. That's amazing. That's amazing. I love that for you. The amount of times my friend and I mod for people that have come in telling them they're bad at Dead by Daylight and just stuff just because the streamer beat them at the game. I'm always like, learn to be nice and never come back and then hit fan, right? <laughs> learn to be nice and be kinder to someone else in some other space. Yeah, that's amazing. I moved in a couple of days ago. Oh, and you already cooked a meal. Oh, moving is tough. Moving is tough. Um, I really hope that I'm in my forever home and never have to move again. Um, but uh, but yeah, I understand. I understand, Devon. Moving is can be like really, really difficult. So um, I'm sure you're like really tired. So congratulations. I hope I hope the apartment is like everything you wanted and more. Okay, let's get these guys. See, I had shitty home life for most of my life, but I was never hateful online. I just don't understand. Yeah, because not everyone, not everyone turns it into that, you know. But for some people, that's like, that's how it happens. Ooh, a chest. Okay, let's kill you and let's loot the chest. <laughs> Hit me with the exclamation hydrate lunar. That's funny. Someone needs to record that version that doesn't exist, but should exist, because I would love it. I'm never going to move until I meet someone, end up spending my life with said person. Yeah, and then, like, wait, like purchase a home at that point. Yeah, I live in an area with, like, a really fluctuating housing market. So there's been plenty of places that I lived where I didn't want to move out, but I had to because they raised the rent so freaking much, and I just, I just didn't have a choice you know, couldn't afford it anymore. Or I, even if I could afford it, I felt like I wasn't getting my money's worth, you know, like I just couldn't like, oh, the apartment's just not worth that. Or the townhouse is just not worth that. And so we would move. But I guess the same is said for school bullies. Yeah. Most of the time they're bullying because their life is so bad. They need, yeah. No one experiences violence for the first time as the perpetrator. Everyone experiences violence for the first time as the victim not it's not the other way around like that's just not how it happens you know 50 square foot meters oh nice patio and a washing machine in the bathroom i can't get much better than that only thing better would be more rooms oh my god that sounds really nice that does sound really nice way nicer than my first apartment <laughs> you know that's awesome i'm so happy for you devon But yeah, so when I see people like online acting like that, like I know that's like some kind of something with their situation. All right, we gotta fight our way back out. Sorry, harpies. I don't really want to kill you anymore because I already stole all your shit, but I kind of got to, otherwise you'll kill me. So, you know, it is what it is. A patio on my own wash washing machine would be nice. I have one room and a bathroom and a washing machine is communal down the hall. Yeah. Yeah, the first place I lived um, was like that communal washing machine. <clears throat> oh, tea is empty. It's time to move on to LaCroix's. But you know, when it comes to buying a house, the hardest is the first one. The hardest is the first one. Once you have a house, it's much easier because then you can sell the current house to help you purchase the next one. So like, it's much easier once you have that. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the follow, friendo. Thank you so much. If you'd like me to thank you by name, please just say hi and I'll be happy to do that. Um, but uh, but lurking is totally cool here. If you want to just hang out and vibe, like that is fine too. I appreciate you either way. 
hopefully I'll have my own place again rather than this emergency accommodation. Yes. You know, I do believe, I do believe you will. Yo, I do believe you will, Karen. You will have your own place again at some point. This is not, this is not like a, a long-term situation that you're in right now. I believe that. Okay. Oh, they want me to do the fucking fizzle. They want me to do fizzle next. Uh, I don't want to do fizzle next. Y'all. I don't want to kill fizzle next. Ah. Uh, okay. Let's see if anybody's hopping around up above fizzle. If I don't get my own place by Christmas, I lose. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't want to be waiting that long. Yes. Well, there's still a few months before Christmas, so I believe you can do it. It is crazy how many places do not allow animals. And I think cats are like so easy, so easy and simple, like places should allow cats, you know? Okay, Fizzle, he's over here. Okay, so we need to go this way. Bitch, leave me alone. I'm not trying to fuck with you. see anyone else a lot of times there would be people like hopping around up here <clears throat> anyone down there no let's see anyone need fizzle See if anybody comes and do this with us. I'm scared of him. He's scary. Yes. Okay. Do it too good. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, he's pretty close. As so we can kill some of the thunder lizards and then loss him around the corner. Like, we can do that. So that might be the- that might be the play. That might be the play. Happy I've got cabinets moved in today. Hopefully by Monday I can clean them and set up my con- console collection inside of them oh nice yeah we have a um we have a piece of furniture in our living room that's like that for all of uh, our uh consoles and things Let's see if it was anybody else. Oh my god, I can't type. If it's just us, um, we can kill some lizards and then boss him around the corner. <clears throat> Because of the acupressure treatment, I am having to drink so much more water than I normally do. Oh, that kind of, that makes sense, though. Oh, that's the person that's in our group. Okay. Hey, 
I don't think so. Okay, what level are they? They're level nine. Oh my god. At least I'm not a healer, so I'm not responsible if they die. Okay, I don't. Okay, I think it's just us. All right, guys, let's go. We're gonna do it. Get fucking fizzle. Oh, there's two more. There's some friends. Oh. Will it let us invite them? They're already in a group. Okay, we'll leave group. Done. All right, let's do it to it. With four, we shouldn't even have to loss him around the corner or anything. He just just die really fast. And we've got hearth, so we can hearth out. Oh, I didn't mean to pull this one. Dang it, that's my fault. Wait, why isn't Fizzle up? It's like usually instant respawns. Where the heck is he? Oh, he's over here? Oh, I didn't even know he walked over there sometimes. Fizzle, what you doing? What you doing hanging out over there? The heck? Oh, he's respawned again. Run away, run away. Oh, they're fighting him. Okay, I better help. All right, let's get out of this danger zone. Thank you, fam. Very successful. Glad people were there. If I was by myself, that probably wouldn't have happened. All right. What can I help you with? That quest can be very, very dangerous. I was, uh, I've, I've almost died to him when I've been playing this before. Okay. Uh, let's vendor some trash. What is my first aid dull. at? Okay, I was working on heavy linen bandages. I've still got these guys. I'm not, and I keep not using them. Okay. Um, let's turn in our questies. All right, hopefully we can be so lucky with Skull Rock. Strength and honor. Mm -hmm. Yep, because that's what's next. We got to go up to Margaz and turn that in. So hopefully we can be so lucky. So yeah, anyways, back to talking about houses. <laughs> Um, we have like the basically a, a piece of furniture that's like specifically for like the consoles that's like underneath the TV. So that's like where the PlayStation and the Xbox and the Switch and stuff is. And it's got like cabinets like specifically for that, like long ones as well as like tall ones so that you can put them in there. And um, what we did just to keep it like, you know, so that they wouldn't get overheated is we just there was like a back like really thin back panel and we just didn't apply that back panel so that like the cabinets are open on the front and the back so that gets lots of air circulation so that's how we set it up um and it works really well <sighs> all right 
I wonder if this little guide thingy, if the Arrested XP guide is going to tell me to go into Skull Rock. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared. Do I want to go into Skull Rock? Like, I don't know. Does it tell me when to go do my... My quest? Oh, grind to level 10. Oh, it doesn't realize I'm like past it. Oh, because I did ex I did do extra stuff that wasn't in the guide. So it doesn't realize I'm level 11. I see, I see. Okay. It thinks I'm still like level nine. But yeah, like if I know there's extra stuff I can do, like I'm gonna do it. Like, why not? Why not, you know? I mean, I'm gonna go over to Mulgore and do those quests too. Like, why not? I know they'll be easy, but it'll help me get money. And I'll get a little experience. Like, it won't be a ton, but it'll be some. And it'll like keep me ahead so that I'm like higher level than I necessarily need to be, which is good. Oh my gosh, Margos is so far away. Over here by himself, just hanging out with the scorpids and boars. I guess he is on a mission. Mission to stop the burning blade. Hello, Hunter. My bank alt is a hunter, and I actually did the little starting area, just a little bit of stuff for her so that she's level six. And I was thinking, like, if I'm ballsy enough, I should get her up to, like, like just a little bit, you know, like level 10 or 15, 10 to 15 or something. And um, then she can get the pink plane strider in Mulgore. And my bank alt can be, can have the pink plane strider. Because her name is Barbarella, like Barbie. She's an orc. She's so cute. Okay, travel. Oh, oh, I should do this next. Okay. Am I not going to go back and get the harpies? Oh, no, I'm going to... The guide says do that next. Okay, well, we can go get collars. We can get collars over here. It's not really a cave over here. They're, like, all hanging out outside the cave for the most part. And I guess it probably is safer to do this quest at the little Dustwind cave than at the Skull Rock cave, huh? So that kind of makes sense why the guide is saying that. And this area is small, unlike the troll area. So if uh, there's people, I can just invite them. We can get tagged together. All right, so it's right over here. Looks like someone, oh no, there they are. They just hadn't phased in yet. I thought someone had killed them. But no, here they are. All right. Bye, Burning Blade thugs. See you later. That's what you get for being part of the Burning Blade. Which is evil. I take your collars. Goodbye, guys. Is this, this thing isn't counting my shards. Even though I've gotten a couple. Hmm. Why is it not counting my shards? Yeah, I told it soul shards, pink, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, they actually went in the cave. We can fight a few in the cave. 
it'll be okay. Famous last words. <laughs> Famous last words. I don't want to go too far in that cave. There might be the ones that have the uh, void walkers too. Those are inside Skull Rock and they are very annoying to kill. By yourself anyway. It's just, let's, the body's decayed, so like the respawn will be soon. Let's just wait for that. Let's just wait. Don't need to be too hasty. Spawn. Here we'll dance to summon them. Come on, burning blades, come out. I only want to kill you. Look at my beautiful dance. See, I look so good. Wow. Aren't you entranced? You know, if I had a duo partner, I might be more apt to, like, be ballsy and run into the cave. But I'm not. I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson with the Knoll Castle, because that basically is like a cave, too. Only one way out, and that's how I died, is I had to run, and then I, because I ran, I ran through a whole bunch of other gnolls, and then they killed me. But we're not going to make that mistake again. Oh, thank you so much for the posture check, Lunar. Thank you so much. Uh, see, this is the thing, like, the names pop, like, basically instantly, and these regular mobs, oh, there they are, I was just, I, I just complained enough, and then, then there they were. All right, just one more, one more color. I can see that one just inside the cave. Why don't you come out? Make friends. Yeah. I'm out of range. Yeah, come out of that cage and play. Or cave. <laughs> cage. Cave. Okay, there's the last caller. All right, let's go turn in. I think this is going to send us to org, right? So then we can do our void walk request while we're in org. Uh, this person made a Taylor Swift The Complete Era's mega mix, a mashup of 230 plus songs. Oh, well, when she's doing the live versions, doesn't isn't it like different than the album versions, I would assume? Because like I've seen some of her other performances and in other things and like she'll like combine songs and things like that. Um, not infrequently. So I assume like the Eras tour, a lot of the versions of the songs were not the same as the album versions. I mean, you can even like she has two different album versions like of a lot of stuff now, right? Because she has like, you know, the original and then she has like the Taylor's version that she re-released. Which is clever as fuck, by the way. Like, they can't, they, can, they can't own the song, period. They can only own their recording, so all she has to do is re-record it. And she's rich as fuck, so she can do that. So with her music videos and all her songs, it's so good. That's amazing. Okay. Oh, this is a way better dagger. Yes. Are you gonna hurt yourself? Yeah. You hurt yourself. Yeah. I get it. We have to go. We have to go to Nehru. Oh, this is saying get the harpies first. 
Okay, we can get the harpies before we go in. I mean, it's like the last quest that I have. Is the Complete Era's Megamix, like, is it on Spotify? Is it on YouTube? Like, what is it? Like, where where is this Megamix? If it wasn't 13 minutes, I share it on the BRB screen. Oh my god, yeah, that's a little bit long. <laughs> It's a little bit long for the BRB screen, but you should link it in the Discord so I can go listen to it later. Because I got to finish laundry and do some other stuff still, so a 13 minute video while folding laundry sounds great. Yay, okay. Sweet. Yeah, I think what we've what we've found since we started using the BRB screen videos is like ten if it's ten longer than ten minutes, it's like a little bit too long for sharing in that way. It just it won't really finish, you know, playing by the time it's time to come back and stream again, you know? Like the break just isn't that long most of the time. Although I'm a little hungry, so I don't know. I gotta figure out like what I wanna get for my snack too. We're going to kill these harpies before then and turn this in. I might just have some more couscous because that shit is so good. Oh, did someone already clear the way to the cave? That was nice of them. That was nice of them. Oh, congrats, um, hair is a lead. Congrats, hair is a lead. Man, a lot of people hitting 60 today. I guess it's kind of like if you've been playing pretty dedicated, like now would be the time. Like, you know, pretty dedicated, but not like speed running it. Congrats, dude. Congrats. I put it in the media share channel. Okay, awesome. All right, here we go. Let's kill these harpies. Excuse me. I wonder if people, like, once they hit 60, if they're actually going to keep playing and try to, like, gear up or whatever, or if they really are just going to retire their characters. Excuse me. Oh my gosh. Too much LaCroix. Like, I feel like if I hit 60, like, I don't know. I'm like, but I hit 60 and I wouldn't want to lose that character, so I'd be, like, nervous to keep going, you know? Like, I don't know. I don't know if I would keep playing. Because, like, I definitely wouldn't want to raid on hardcore. That sounds, like, kind of ridiculous. But I'm sure there are people that do. I'm sure there are people that want to get like a KT kill on their hardcore character and, you know, stuff like that. But I don't know, like to me, hardcore is about the leveling experience, I feel like. But first I gotta even make it to 60 before I even have dreams of what I would do with a hardcore 60. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, gotta make it first. Oh no! Liu, Liu, Liu Lise? Poor Liu Lise. Still recharging. It sucks. Sucks seeing your dead body. I mean, I guess this area is kind of dangerous, but like, it's not that bad. But I guess like you could, if you ended up pulling all three, not paying attention, like I could see it. What's that, a water barrel? Okay get that too. Dot him up, 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 dot him up, 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 dot him up, 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 they're on fire! Give me that water, I need to hydrate. Thank you. Oh, a 21. What got them? Razor main stalker in the barrens. Oh, that sucks. 
I'll help you, friend. I get this one. Bring a bucket and a mop for that water bottle. Yes. <laughs> I got them. I got five of them. Water bottles. From these harpies here. They don't need it. They're dead. So, you know, I should use it. Are they going to invite me or are they just going to take all the tags? I think they're just going to take all the tags. Whatever. Ah, whatever. Invite me if you see me doing the same mobs, my friends. Come on. Oh my god. I'll use my instant then. Jesus. Don't you resist my corruption? You need it. You are impure and we're making you pure. Alright, let's drink up. Don't respawn while I'm drinking now. A thirsty girl. I don't know where it's going since I barely have a stomach, you know, in this undead form, but I thirsty. Well, at least they're helping me kill my tags. That's nice of them. Gosh, fast response. And my hearth is not up, so I'll have to walk back out of here. What is that? An axe? Yes, useless. I do not need an axe. Here, I can jump too. Will you invite me to your group if I jump? No. I guess I should use my words and ask if I want that, huh? <laughs> but I don't want to be bothered. I don't want to be bothered. You know what? Let's do this. I form a group with um these other guys. can't join our group. Oh, they're already in a group. Okay. I guess we'll just have two competing groups. Oh my gosh, they already tag everything. Okay, let's go back this way. Dust wind. Hmm? 
I couldn't loot either. Oh. Uh. Let's change it to... Free for all. Because I bet, because he was killing back there. Damn it, too, too slow, too slow. Got this one, okay. We're gonna get this. Dustwind Savage. Alright, oh sweet, we just need another Storm Witch. And there's one. Let's get it, get it, get it. Don't stop, get it, get it. Done. All right, let's run back out of here. stay in the group so that in case he needs more of these he can get them it looks like he does and everyone in hardcore has questy every single one in in era on classic era servers some people have questy but a lot of people don't but everyone on hardcore does oh man i was trying to get you some tags Okay, whatever. It's fine. All right, run, run, run. All right, can we walk around her? Yes. Yes, we can. All right. Go turn this in. Hello, goblin friend. I killed the harpies for you. Yes, I did. Hey, how you doing? Oh, I gotta pick. Oh. But I can't use any of these. Okay, well, I guess I'll pick this one. Man, I should train. Should I train stabs? Real. Two hand. Two's is, two is better, though. Okay. Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> um, all right. So... We're going to pause there. We're going to pause and take our break there. So for you watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.